A lot of filmmakers are beginning to film using cameras capable of raw video formats. This video is directed mainly at the users of the Blackmagic Design cinema camera. This camera has 13 stops of dynamic range, and in order to take full advantage of that range, exposing correctly is critical. Many of the more experienced users of this camera frequently suggest exposing to the right. But what does this mean exactly, and why is it a good idea? If we take a look at this image, we can imagine that this is the entire range of the sensor readout. Not all of the range is a valid signal. There will be a point at which the signal becomes so weak that it's actually noise or artifacts. On the left hand side of this scale, we can see the noisy section represented by coloured dots. Slightly to the right of that, we see the darker part of the range. At the far right hand side, we see clipping. Some people may wish to never clip an image, but other people such as myself consider some conditions whereby a clipped portion of the image is acceptable, such as on a specular highlight or when a bright light source is directly visible within the frame. When trying to expose your shot correctly, traditionally a lot of filmmakers would expose to the left or underexpose slightly. They do this to protect the brighter sections of the image in order to try and prevent any clipping occurring. If we look at a representation of how this image would likely sit on the entire possible range of the image readout, we can see that it does not use the entire range. In order to correct the exposure after filming, we would have to lift the footage in post-production. When you lift the footage, you are also lifting up noise, as you can see represented in this graphic. Let's have a look at the final image more closely. As you can see, there is some noise within this image. Alternatively, we could expose this shot to the centre of the range. When exposing this way, you are able to use a great deal of the dynamic range of the camera. The noise will be less prevalent than underexposing or exposing to the left, but there will still be some noise. Not everyone has a problem with a bit of video noise, especially when it looks aesthetically pleasing. A sensor exposed image would need little to no pushing or pulling, and so it would look something like this. So, what about exposing to the right? Because the camera in question has a large dynamic range and shoots uncompressed, we have a great deal of flexibility in post-production. So if we expose the scene to just below clipping as seen here, we will have an image with the lowest noise level. As you can see, it sits towards the right hand side of the range, and when we pull the exposure down in post-production, we will crush away any possible noise. As long as you are able to expose to the right, but without clipping any valuable details, you will be able to capture a very nice and clean image. As you can see, this image has the least amount of noise. This has been a very simplified demonstration and the graphics were there to help to explain the process and are far from accurate, but I hope you now understand what exposing to the right, or ETTR, is, and why people recommend it as a practice. The easiest way to expose with this in mind on the Blackmagic Cinema camera is to set your zebras to 100% and expose as bright as you can before they appear on something viable within the scene. Thank you for watching and please post any questions you have below on the Vimeo page.